Good morning, artists. Oh, today is good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Why good morning? You say because we're doing this a little different. Usually we record at nighttime when everyone's mm-hmm. awake, but this time yep. we're recording in the morning. Don't tell your mom or in dad. In the middle Early of the birds. day. Just playing. Don't tell your mom or dad. I'm here with Togo, the lovable robot. Tito. I'm here with King Lee, the nerd. Hey. Don't say that. Don't make that noise or I'll actually fire you. Uh, and then I'm here with Jet Beats. Yo. I couldn't think of something clever. Wow. Yeah. Our morning gets to us all. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And gum. Oh, yeah. And there's me, your host, Gum. The mm-hmm. worst podcast host in history of podcast hosts. I'm right there next to Joe Rogan. Uh, I don't know what he does. Mm-hmm. That's debatable. <laughs> what does he do? I've actually never listened to him. <laughs> He's that bad. I don't know, man. I don't think we did. We're we're some we're 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 on C tier. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, okay. So, but before we get Whoop. but before we get quirky, and before I get bored of playing with these sugar packets on my desk, I have a t- man. Oh man! I I was I was thinking, you know, I was just in the Discord, you know, all alone by myself while I was drawing, and. A I thought occurred to me. Do you guys like what YouTube videos do you guys watch while you draw? I need answers. I'm asking everyone in the podcast, um, and I'm asking everyone in the comments. While I draw. While you draw. I don't know. I listen to music, or what? I listen to documentaries. What kind of documentaries? Sexy documentaries. No, um, the Animal Planet ones. Uh, with uh, no. what was his name? David Atkinson, I think is his name. The guy with the really cool voice. You know he's. You not... can watch him on Discovery Plus, by the way. He's not real. He is real, and he's amazing at what he does. What about you, Togo? What do you watch while you draw? I watch anything. That's cheating. You have to be specific. Anything, all right, Kingly. How about you? At all. Me? Yeah. I have a very specific Spotify playlist that I listen to every single time. Oh. Give you something songs. With podcasts? Do well, you do you listen to a specific? I have a new podcast added to it. Do you listen to? Yeah, my. You know. What podcast do you listen to while you draw? Huh. It might. It might rhyme with something like uh, Pock Part uh, Something World. Hmm. Could it be, could it by hmm. chance be Art House Rocks the World? Uh, I think that's the one. That's the one? That's. Yes. I had no fucking idea. That's insane. Yeah, uh, it's really cool. It's like, like there's this one that's really cool who her you listen to an artist of the week and it's up as Halo Kingly 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 why do you sound like you're gonna touch me whoa I need you to speak up no sorry sorry it's just the mood that uh no that's it you're banned I you know you know you're not gonna talk (laughs) You're giving the audience a bad touch vibe. We need to give them the good touch vibe. We're not that uncle that's. Vibe. We're not the. We're not the uncle that like is locked up for a reason. We're, we're the uncle that like gives you candy for dinner and giant pancakes for breakfast. I don't know. I don't know, man. This voice, your mom loves. It. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Togo, your band. Wonderful. That, that was perfect, Togo. <laughs> I applaud you. I tried. You. 
Hmm. I don't know. What I listen to while I draw is like a bunch of creepy shit. Like none of those scary creepy pastas where like, oh no, the the slender man's gonna eat your brains. Oh no, he's gonna like swallow you. He's gonna slender man so white. No, uh I watch real shit, my dudes. Like real shit that happened. Like you ever heard of the killdozer? Top 10 things that no. gum watches. No, I don't like Number those. 10. King, shut up. Don't ever <laughs> talk like him again. <laughs> top, dude, top 10 videos or top 15s or whatever, they're for kids now. There are, <laughs> there's, there's no more horror in the world. I don't know, it's like. So if you go into Reddit. I don't know, man. It's like when you're when you're a kid, you think the top fives and fifteens are like scary as fuck. You're like, oh man, that's so scary. And then when you grow up, you're like, oh yes, oh yeah. Sounds <laughs> fake. But when you're a man like me, you watch real shit, like a woman that went overboard on a Disney cruise and. Now the fucking Fiji police have to find her, but they don't, and they're like, okay, who cares? Or the Killdozer, which is about a man that fucking turned a fuck- who pimped a fucking bulldozer into being like a tank. Yeah. And it happened in Colorado. I was gonna say Ohio, but Ohio sucks. Nothing happened yeah. over there. You gotta go to Florida for the craziest. What do we say yeah. about what do we say about Ohio? It's like it's like Florida with without the water. I don't I don't know. <laughs> yup. Yep. So we'll go with that. Of course. Without the ocean, because we I, we got a lake. What lake do you guys have? We have Lake Erie. It's Florida without the Florida. Mm. Florida it's one of the five great lakes. Florida's shaped like a gun. I want you all to remember that. California has water. Yeah, they they gotta get it through like rain and mountain things like that. It's really chlorinated. At, at least in Southern California, I can't speak for Northern California. Sounds pretty in inspiring. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Cause I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Of course. Um, yeah, it's uh. David Attenberg. I never know what you are talking about. That's the guy I listen to. All right, moving on to the next topic. To wait, were you talking? Cause you're like. I was like, what? Did my mic act up? Uh. Oh. Yeah. Rip. Hello. Oh no. This is gonna be in the blue bag. Anyways. Next thing, the next thing uh, Jet wanted to talk about though is, um, I know. Yes. Moving Comparing on. different uploading star sites for drawings. Uploading drawings and sites. Yes. Okay. Um, what? So comparing the different uploading sites that you upload your drawings on. So I upload my drawings on DeviantArt, Discord, Instagram, and I think that's it. And um, some, some I, I feel like Instagram is the easiest to upload, but it just sucks that it like either lowers the quality or you have to have that like one by one ratio. Or else it like it won't work out too well, or it can't be too big. But um, the good thing about DeviantArt, I mean, okay, there's pros and cons. Um, for like DeviantArt, it has like you have to put in so much information in order to upload your mm -hmm. drawings, but like it keeps the resolution as you wanted. You could also adjust the resolution if you. 
or if uh or if you don't want it like as uh as big as the original you know for art thieves um and then discord is just discord you just but yeah, I don't know what sites do you guys upload your drawings in? Like, which ones you found that it's easier or better to I only do Insta. I don't know. Oh. I've, I've tried DeviantArt, but I don't really understand how it works. Like, I know the whole... They have, like, a dump folder for you to use and stuff, but other than that... I mainly use Insta. I don't know how Twitter works in general. I am an old man, and I've accepted that. I though I did try a new, a new one that broke one of our previous guests. I tried one of them. They kind of were ta talking about. It was called Artful, I think. And I don't understand that either. Like I mean, I. I post Is there. Is it complicated or are you just... It's it's like Instagram, but it's just artists. And like, I, seen, okay. I, see, I see this hot artist. Like, I found this very, very hot artist. I'm trying to add him to the Discord, but... No response. Rip. Oh, but apparently I'm being... I don't know, the last like I got was on December 9th. Wow, so creative, so edgy. Oh, I don't know. I feel like Artful is like a niche thing. Yeah, yeah. kind of sounds. Like I, I think so too. But um, it, it's nice to have a place for artists, but I like artists also need like non-art people around as well. They hunger. Mm-hmm they hunger but um other than that I'm trying to get into TikTok like like Halo from our pilot episode get it? our pilot episode? Oh, they're working out. I don't know I like the thing about that is like I don't know anything about TikTok like I don't know my <laughs> I don't understand anything same I was thinking about just stealing memes. <sighs> Sorry, it's so... I mean, that's what basically it is. Just stealing memes and then making it your own. And then making a trend. <laughs> and that's about it. I mean, when, when I was, like, in middle school, that's what I did on iFunny, and I had, like, 1K subs, but that doesn't matter. Because only people in middle school use iFunny. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> you know what's funny? I my my one friend actually got commissions from iFunny. That son of a bitch. Oh. I might what? have to go back. <laughs> I was in it for the clout. I the bad clout. <laughs> I will say this though. Um, what's the word? I did, I did, get I did make an account for Reddit. Because I thought, huh, maybe artists are there. And I don't understand it either. I, 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 oh. I, 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 I'm like, oh, okay, so I have to go to other communities. Reddit. And I'm like, oh, this is like Amino. So I go to other communities. I post stuff. And I don't know. I don't even know. It says like, oh, you got to wait for permission. Or be on the pot, or I'm like, what? No, what is this? I. So so I just ran away and never came back. I stayed. I went into my room and like <laughs> shrouded myself in blankets. Oh, <laughs> I wonder, did um, any of you guys ever use uh, Zoomer? Zoomer. Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah, I do. Oh, Togo, you do. Tell us about that. What's up, what's Tumblr like? Well, I know it's because of the memes. But well, then I don't really evolved. know much about Tumblr. I use it very briefly. 
Mm. You sound like you, you you go you had to go to a doctor's appointment through a shady neighborhood. <laughs> I use it very briefly. Why is that so specific, Kingly? <laughs> Kingly meant it. Too specific. I just follow people who are into the fandoms I like and whose art I like. Sounds sus, if you ask me. And my feed stays relevant. Ah, uh, yeah. Sounds really sus to me. Bum, 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 bum. I don't really post what art very often. Is it an easy process, though? Tumblr? Or is it, yeah, or is it confusing? I, I, I mean, because it's more like a blog, right? I actually blog tried Tumblr. Site? Yeah. I tried Tumblr, too, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. I, I was trying to huh. upload my comic there. Yeah. I didn't know what I was, the fuck I was doing. I, apparently, I was making my website, <laughs> and then I'm like, what? What? Then I just left. <laughs> <laughs> then I left. I waited to my room. I shrouded, my I shrouded myself in blankets. I haven't gone that in depth law. I remember my tales of Tumblr before they banned the porn. <laughs> ah, back in those days. It was nothing but porn. It was an interesting place. No, I kid you not. It really was a lot of porn. Like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, there's that's why everyone said Tumblr was gonna die once porn was gone. That's why everyone went to Twitter. Yeah, like this one artist or uh, this one person I was following that posted a lot of cool stuff. They uh they went to Twitter too. Three of them in fact. I joined like a few months before the porn ban law. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn. I, I I I remember my one friend, like he he's like pro uh gay. And he's showing me his Tumblr. So and it's just fun seeing him like just randomly turn his phone around and I'm seeing two two guys going doggy style at it. Pro gay isn't supports gay or he's just a professional gay. Yeah. It's, no, no, I could do not. He, he's he's a pro. So what <laughs> so what he like tries to Oh no. So what he's like a Tries to turn straight people gay. Is no. that how pro he is? He's, he's just a show. <laughs> Doesn't try. He succeed. What? Yeah, he just succeed. How pro is he? Like, how many body slams has he done in his lifetime? Mm -mm. <laughs> That's a secret. You should ask him how many women he slept with. <laughs> Actually, uh. I, I won't disclose his body there, count. I don't technically have their permission to speak about him. Ooh, you know what you should. Real, y'all trying to get y'all trying to get him. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what you yeah. should do. Well, he, he's a gen he's a pretty carefree person. I'm just kind of joking halfway here, but nah, he's a pretty chill dude. But I just thought it was funny. He would just like show his random Tumblr feed of just two guy two guys raw dogging it. It's okay. You know, I once knew a person I worked with who, you know, got one of my coworkers to follow him on Twitter. And by God, the shit he had on Twitter. I I'm just gonna say three things, and yeah, uh, one, uh, leather gimp suits. Two. Dudes that looked like chicks. Three. Gay furry porn. Yeah, that's about oh, package. it. Sometimes they were all three. Sometimes they refused. Yeah, and you show that to my coworker. Wow. He's like, hey, you should follow me. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? And apparently it, it got real bad because the supervisor saw and the camera saw too that he was on his Twitter. <laughs> And Ooh. I don't know. He they didn't fire him. They, t <laughs> but he did quit, and <laughs> no one said bye to him. I I went and I'm like, it's probably because you showed everyone your Twitter. What are you? What kind of animal are you? 
A different breed. <laughs> he was a different breed. If you, guys, I if you saw the way he if you saw what he brought in for lunch, you'd be you'd be like surprised. Oh, too. it's that guy. Yeah, it's that guy. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. That guy. So. For the listeners, he's a, he's a character. listeners, allow me to explain. I'm just gonna. This dude was just redneck, not even redneck. He was just a bumbling cartoon character or something. He, uh, I don't know. He broke f- almost five thousand dollars worth of uh, material. Never got fired. He whatever. He always brought in terrible shit for lunch. I would always bring in fresh shit. You know, sometimes I'd share, and I'd ask if he'd want some. He said, nope, and he'd chug a Mountain Dew uh, in, like, a sitting in, like, ten seconds, and then throw up, like, f- five minutes later. And then, by one time, I really wanted to throw up uh, when he was next to me, making his uh, hamburgers with air quotes. He, uh... He had tortilla chip, no, not tortilla, he had tortillas, cold ones, flour tortillas, you know, bought from a gas station, plopped them right on the table, you know, the unfucking sanitized table. He puts, he, he slams a hamburger patty right on, in, right into it, and he's like dousing it with sweet and sour sauce. Listeners who are eating, please be advised, you might gag too. He like slathers it with sweet and sour sauce, and then he just slaps it with like a cheese like american i don't know could have been couldn't be that one american glue cheese whatever you, the kids hate nowadays just slaps that on slaps another good dose of sweet and sour sauce wraps it up with the tortilla and just eats it like that <coughs> It was so disgusting, and he had the fucking nerve to look me straight in the fucking eyes and say, (laughs) (coughs) Oh, God. He he had the nerve to look me straight in the fucking eyes like my dog when he's taking his shit. He looked at me straight in the eyes. He He said, hey, you want a bite? I'm, like, about to fucking gag and shit. And um, and I'm and like, no. You're gagging right now. I'm like, no, you fucking monster. <laughs> He's like, hey, don't <laughs> knock it till you try it. And takes like a big fucking bite right in front of me. I wanted to die. <laughs> and then when I went back to work, you see this dude fucking throw up and up in the fucking trash can. Like, oh, I think that meat wasn't ready or cooked well enough. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this dude, I hate you. You're going to. You're gonna have so m- <laughs> you're gonna have so many problems in life, bro. I mean, it's he was just uh, he, 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 to society. <laughs> he never used deodorant. Artists, please. This is a message. Please use deodorant because these are the kind Hear of the sound, pe- or else you'll that's be- my deodorant stick. Yeah. Artists, if you do not use deodorant, three of these things will happen. One, you will never get a girlfriend and you will die. Number two, you will grow to like how you smell and you will eat poop. Not really eat poop, but you will eat crap. And three, you will become what you hate the most in life. You will become someone on Twitter that is into very weird shit. Don't do this. Use deodorant. Today's sponsor <laughs> is Old Spice. <laughs> I'm the new Terry Crews. What up? What up? What are you? And, and, yeah. What are you? And for my depressed people out there, at least put it on when you go out in the public. Please. <laughs> yes, I That's can. fucked up, King Lee. They can't help. They can't help the way they smell. They're depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. You you can do what I do, like literally put the freaking stick on your desk and look at it when you're about to go out. That's disgusting, King. Pro tips. Depressed people don't care about yeah. hygiene. I'm. I get that. I'm depressed too. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is uh, this is speech. My peoples. Yeah. 
Kingly, you smell. What? <sighs> Can you smell me? Unfortunately. Can you smell me? Jeez, That's King. good, because I smell like min degree 48 hour per antiperspirant extreme blast. Nah, I smell like Old Spice Fiji. Damn. Coconut. What do you smell? <laughs> what do you smell like, Jet? Smell like a normal human being. Ah, oh, pretty. Nah, pretty, pretty. They they work in finance. They smell like dollar bills. Oh, I can smell. What I is can... with that? Like y'all really attacking because of my occupation? <laughs> like, we talking about we talking about moods here. We're not talking about occupation. I can okay? smell. There are two different things. <laughs> right. I can yeah, smell. I had to. Y'all gotta make me go off. It's, it's, all, it's all because the of our one guest. The poor listeners. The poor listeners. The poor listeners. They're gonna have like their corrupted Jet. because of you. What? I can smell the industry. That's not a good smell. No. Okay. Y'all wanna know what I smell like? I smell like secret PLT bioans, spring breeze. Anti -per perspirant, I can't say that. The order cash money 2.6 ounces. You smell like a garden. <laughs> That's what I smell like. I smell like spring. All right, what about you, Toko? What do you smell like? Uh. They smell like a calculator because they're in engineering. Yeah, you smell like metal and oil. No, no, we is not yes. going. I smell like no. a failure. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Togo. Jeez. Jesus. It smells like teen spirit. Tee hee. You oh smell like teen God. spirit? Didn't you just <laughs> preach to people to wear deodorant? No, we just did. did. Because Yo, but wasn't that a deodorant, though? Because like, wasn't that a legit? Because just because you're an artist doesn't mean you have to smell like shit. And unless that's like your like your thesis. I smell like that purple brand deodorant. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. My mom has that in her purse. No, it was a deodorant. The teen spirit, it was a deodorant. You? Right. You? What do you mean, you? You mama? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, when I'm in a pinch, I'm wearing purple deodorant, too. Yeah, whenever you're, like, at I a... I smell floral. It's, a, it's like a backup plan. Lavender. Remember, artists, don't smell, or your art will smell, too. So sorry you have to listen to all of this, listeners. <laughs> Just go over my head and... Let your voice and everybody's be... Jet, you... So jet, no. You got it. You're so off, like... like to like deodorant, like they don't care. <laughs> like they want to know tips. They want to know tricks. They want to know the fire that burns within us, the passion to draw. Well, damn it, we have to give it to them. I. Hmm. Oh, by the way, Togo Jet, if it makes <laughs> you all feel better, I smell like alginate. I don't know what that is. You're, you Whatever think, that means. I don't, yeah, you know what? You're like a girl what? now. Because <laughs> <laughs> the dental. Uh, no, no, we're not putting it in occupation, then. You smell like That's latex, not... then. You smell like latex. <laughs> you don't smell like nothing but latex. That's all I smell like latex? No, that's all the dentist smells like. That it's, sounds kinky. It's nothing but latex. Um, you smell like latex. Like... Are you any are any of you guys allergic to latex? Your mom's allergic to latex. Uh you <laughs> actually yeah you Please you, not, but okay. Actually it's not latex that they use for gloves anymore, it's a different material. I've been lied to. It's like a vinyl of sorts. Damn. Smell like Science has gone. <laughs> <laughs> Science has gone too far. Science is not enough. Just like how we need to know how fucking algorithms work on these platforms. 
Oh my god, especially Instagram. Instagram. What is wrong with your algorithm? So, for the I, I gotta let you all know. What? You know how they work? No, you're gonna say Hey, something. Mr. Big Bucks, how much cash money do we need? That's it, Kingly, you're fired. <laughs> Turn your microphone after today's oh, episode. No. Okay. Uh, it's my uncle's microphone, but I well, you know what? Home. Your uncle doesn't. Your uncle's fired too. Oh damn! Um, yeah. Rip uncle. I think he. What was I gonna say? Ooh, I that's rough. Uh, see, you made me lose my train of thought. We were talking about algorithms. All right, artist on Instagram. You already know this, but if you're new, I'll tell you what the fuck it all means. Instagram is like YouTube. Uh oh. Hang on. Damn. I hear zombie noises in Minecraft. Bro. Oh no. He's still playing Minecraft, bro. You know what's he's still trying to make that leg. You know what sucks? Bro. It's the, been like an hour and he's the, trying to finish the damn you know what sucks? leg. <laughs> what sucks is the audience probably heard it too. Bro. <laughs> okay, yeah. Blake Cap. On Instagram. I don't know. You all probably know this, but likes, they don't do shit. They don't do jack shit for you. What? You, you like someone? That's good. That's cool. You, you like their art. That's that's cool. But it ain't gonna do shit. You know what you gotta do? You know what you gotta do? My artist, you gotta, you gotta like it. You gotta f f save it to your gallery. And then you gotta share it to your fucking... What do you call it? To your fucking to your fucking story, and then you got a comment saying something like, "Wow, this is so cool. Ten out of ten. Why are you so cool? Do you want to be on the podcast?" And then they'll be like, "Oh, oh okay, yeah. thank you." What? And then and then and then that's all <laughs> it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. In fact, by the time I do this, you're probably going to I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm doing it right now, too. Uh, I'm going to shout out Lightning Lights. They're fucking cute as hell. Yeah, I just did it. I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, and that's how you support someone on the algorithm. And then it continues. And it never stops. Mm. Uh -huh. Also, uh, what was I going to say? Also, art art chains help. I don't know. Um, this wonderful artist that I cannot wait to interview in the future, but it might be difficult because of time zones. Uh, this great artist, they managed to get to 2K because of it. And, uh, and honestly, they kind of deserved it. Uh, yeah. So if so, it's kind of like an art. It's like an art game. You have to you have to know some people. You gotta join a gang. You gotta fucking kill the mafia boss and then become the mafia king. That's basically the art game on Instagram. Yeah, pretty much. Or you know, if you're it's pretty brutal out there on Instagram. But if you're cool like us on our super secret Discord then we're pretty much your gang and you don't need anything else. Yeah. Super secret. It's also my voice cracked, very but that's much irrelevant. Secret, yes. <laughs> uh, my voice cracked because I'm playing Minecraft. No, no more. That's why you don't play Minecraft, guys. I'm not playing Minecraft right now. That's why don't you don't spend an hour playing Minecraft. <laughs> hey, your voice cracks. No, that's not what yep. happens. You'll rediscover puberty. Shut up. Yeah. You guys are going You'll to revert hell. back. And then <laughs> rediscover it. I'm killing every single one of you. Oh. Is Minecraft does death not death? count. I um, didn't do anything. I'm gonna eat I'm gonna kill your dynasties. Oh. Not my ah. dynasty. Well, I didn't I even get to start it yet. Yeah, I don't have any either. Good luck. I will try my best. I mean, best. it does technically make it easier for him. 
Mm. Oh no. Well, I mean, if he's only after my dog, it doesn't know. I mean, he's after me. And if I have none, then I am scotch free. I am the next Dio. I'm gonna kill your children. And I'm gonna date a black guy. But but he but he's a good nice. he's a, he's a girl he's a girl though he's a girl. Love wins. What? Mm. I don't know. That's kind of sus gum. Oh, I remember. Oh? Too I, sus. I remembered what I was gonna tell you, Kingly. So you could tell your gay friend. No gum. You already out to yourself. Kingly, you know what you can say <laughs> to your gay friend. <laughs> what? This might get us canceled again, but uh, so. How, how, you, you probably heard of this. We've been joke. canceled. You probably heard this joke. No one spoil it. So, how does a non-binary person kill someone? They slash them. Get it? Because they slash them. Huh. This okay. is the. <laughs> no. Because a non-binary person, they go by they slash them, and then and then say it again. How does a non-binary person kill someone? They slash them. Yeah. They slash them. <laughs> Togo gets it. <laughs> Thank you for the laugh track, Togo. I needed that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Even though it sounded like fucking rain. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> that was a pity laugh. <laughs> I'll go with that laugh. No, I don't want that. I think so. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it more. <laughs> Dang, every time we should start the show, we should have an applause where it's like, woo you know. Yeah. The laugh track is past. <laughs> the laugh track is past as Togo. <laughs> Oh no. The last track has left us, but it has not left Toka. Mm -hmm. It should. It has. It has not. Uh but yeah, poor artist. If you're uploading if you're uploading on a platform, tell us what platform you use, because I know a lot of people use Twitter more than anything else and somehow they're like god tier artists <laughs> getting commissions on a daily basis someday Honestly, someday I'll understand it but not today mm -hmm. I don't even touch wood rip I don't know what <laughs> it's, I, it's the melting pot of insanity yeah it really is porn is on yeah. twitter that's all I know oh one one thing I do gotta warn, like if you get a, get familiar with a lot of social media and all that, be aware it attracts all walks of life. So it might not be the healthiest people talking. Yeah, rem uh -huh. all the time. Please please refer to our one of our episodes, Internet Safety Bionicle One Hundred One, with tired adults. Refer to that video for Ooh. internet safety. <laughs> we give lots, lots of it. We give you all. We tell you. We tell you how to how to how to bring back up. What gun to use if things get dicey? Uh, pulling out <laughs> if, if you should bring a weapon. Should you tell your parents? Obviously, because you're gonna. You don't know. They might touch you. And yeah, that's about it. I just sure. I summed it, up, it's the worst. I summed up a two hour episode into one fucking minute. I mean that's the description though. <laughs> it doesn't really necessarily Yeah, go go. So you still have to listen to it. Perhaps. Each episode is an adventure. It, it really is. <laughs> We're on an adventure for the far lay land. I guess you could say a bizarre Shut up. Adventure. <laughs> I remember the salad. I remember the salad. Freaking salad. <laughs> Which episode? I eat a salad. Never ending salad. Uh.
<laughs> That's why it's never ending. The salad is inspiring. Like the artist we Andy, all no. like the artist we all look up to. Whoop whoop. He was eating it for three podcasts. Was I? No, not three. Oh, he, it was yeah, not three. It was a good amount. It felt like three. No, one of them was like. like five, honestly. Nah, 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 nah. I think I ate them before an episode started. But one of them, you guys were like, <laughs> "Start the video," and I was like, "I'm like, oh, okay, hang on, let me. You know what? I'll just eat during the show." You guys are crazy. The salad of justice. I don't see you guys eating healthy. Ooh, got him. I mean, you don't see me eating in general. Anyways, King- I don't eat. Anyways, excuse me, I was burping because I ate a salad again. Uh, mm -hmm. Kingly wanted to talk oh, about, no. I don't know, artists we watch while we're becoming artists or something? Yep, pretty much. Well, who did you- Like, I, I, I remember when- Who's I, your guy? Who's your guy? I, th this guy. Yeah. This guy is a legend. Who is he? Legend. He is. He's the Giga Chads. Giga Chads. Who is he? He's the one that helped me find my way to the world of art. Who was he? He shined a beacon to me. He me? was Mark Greeley. Oh. Oh, that guy. Oh. Yeah. For a lot of people. I know the did. guy. Yes, you know that guy because he's the Giga Chad of Giga Chads. <laughs> he is. Dude was posting every single absolute day since, as far as I can remember. And the only time he's not posting every day is because he's in the middle of a book. Run. Crazy. His work ethic is god tier. Man is nonstop. Yeah. Damn. You know who else doesn't stop working? This other person I was going to put on the podcast, but decided not to. And instead, I'm going to replace them with someone else from a company that they work with. Damn. You'll, you'll, oh. you'll know. You'll know. You'll know. Actually, it might not even be today's interview. It might be somewhere down the line. Stay tuned for that, folks. Fuck, we probably already interviewed them. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I've heard of Mark Crilly, right? I but yeah. but I have not. I don't know. I the last time I saw his videos was like he was describing backgrounds and he was like talking about his story about a ghost, and I'm like, oh okay. It's That's like, Brody's ghost. This is Brody's ghost. <laughs> he bangs the ghost, and after he had sex with the ghost, the ghost became alive. Is that what happens? No. It's, it's, not at all. Does the ghost get his body like, back after No. Oh no. No, what what it was, like if he actually even gives you a preview to see. I actually haven't seen the story yet because I plan on buying it. Um uh, it, it pretty much starts off as like this dude who's like kind of just l living rather than uh, just surviving rather than just living his life. And then one day, while he's like musking, he's like saw like some girl, and turns out the girl just suddenly flies out of the car. She's a freaking ghost, and he's the only one that can see her. And a lot of stuff has happened. <laughs> a lot of dirty. As a result. Yeah, a lot of hot stuff. <laughs> he 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 he's he's a rather he he's not that type of artist. He, he's pretty. He. He's the type of person that's into, like, nice movies and things like that. But it could happen. Gum is disappointed. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's, people are just going to have to get it and find out. <laughs> it's been, I'm pretty sure... It's, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been 20 years since that came out. Actually, that's rather... It was sooner than you think. I think it was, like, four years ago. He made a new comic after that, and it was all colored. And it's he does this all traditionally. Damn. That's amazing. Honestly, props to him. 
Yeah, he bangs the ghost and it becomes life. That's what happens. I just read the ending. That's what happens. <laughs> Wait, I... Gum writing fanfic already. No, I'm yeah. not. That's not what happened. He's such a big fan. I didn't even read it. Who is Brody the ghost? I don't know. They banged. That's <laughs> how it ends. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's other stuff to the story. Didn't. <laughs> when I think of Mark Crilly, I think I think of him like I think he was the guy that made those books, those bad books. Is he? Makes the bad books. You know, mastering manga, or how to make manga books. Believe it or not, those books are in it as. Oh, I no, I get you, but no, I actually got one of his books. I bought it. Mm. It's actually pretty decent. Mm. Those ones you find in the yeah, library it, books, it, the libraries. No, well, that that's kind of kind of like his hidden joke because a lot of yeah, a lot of ones out there was built made by this uh, one other artist. It was like some Christopher dude. I don't even remember. But no, Mark Mark really he actually like even though it's Americanized, he he actually does his own legitimate manga. Nah. Yup. I don't believe you. Yeah. And his his wife is Japanese, and he's taught English in Japan. I think if anyone's got the leg to stand on to say that, it's a... You're lying, Kingly. <laughs> no. That's why you're cutting in and out. Gum is in the aisle. cutting in and out? Okay, I thought it was just me. Everybody's no, no, no. He's, he's going like this, and then he's going like this, and then he's going like this, and then he's. All of us like are this. cutting in and out. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's that's me. I, I, I'm, I'm not very still with the mic. I move around a lot. The matrix is falling apart. You don't move. You, you move around when it's time to get off your seat. <laughs> okay. Is it? It's okay. All, All right. right, let's let's get this microphone situated. I, it's gonna be right here. I'm gonna be right here the whole time. Okay, at least back up a Holy little bit. Holy crap! <laughs> right, this is the ASMR section of the podcast. Yeah, they okay, bang. Okay. Maybe. You know what? I'm gonna get Mark Curley on here when this when this whole fucking podcast becomes somehow popular without my without my knowledge I'm gonna be like Mark Crilly get on here Do did you ever draw the ghost lewd would Danny Phantom pipe <laughs> would you ever collab <laughs> with Butch Hartman <laughs> and all this other <laughs> and he'd say yes you know that's actually a very yeah, that'll interesting that'll be a lovely point. conversation that that would actually be very interesting. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know if he like had any contact with Butch Hartman or not. It's like he's like he's like no. I hate Butch. He's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried. I tried. I tried. I, 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 like I, I walk in the studio with that guy. He he's telling me how he sees fucking fairies and shit, and he's pointing at the gays mm -hmm. at people in the in the fucking studio, calling them extroverted. I can't. With them. I can't. Poor, poor. Uh, damn. Just a food for a <laughs> What about what, what about you, Chip? Who did you grow up watching? Or yeah, who did you grow up watching your how-to videos from? Which artist inspired you? No one really. I didn't really look at any on YouTube. I kind of just would look at like um, speed runs on Instagram. Kind of recent, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't really have some. Dude, speed... Sorry, I thought I was going to burp another salad. Speed runs on YouTube are so misleading. It's like, when you look at them, like speed paints with artists, it's like, you think you can do it too, and then you realize... You can't. Yeah. They're going so fast, they're hiding their mistakes. 
Yeah. And you don't know because <laughs> you think they're doing their job. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but I do enjoy watching speedrun. Not speed. Well, speedrun's still good. I mean, speed paints. Mm-hmm. Um, there you can actually learn like a good amount, or even like watching how they do like the line art and stuff like that. It's a very, um, in some aspects, it's very eye opening. I know I got a, like a few tips from it, even though like they didn't say anything, but you you do catch on eventually just by watching. Okay. Perhaps. Perhaps. Like, I know, like, this one artist, they would do their line art, and it wouldn't be black. They would change the color of it around, like, skin. So they would do, like, a like a tan or, like, a, a brown. Not a super dark brown, but a brown. And then it would look, like, super nice. Like, it makes the line art when you're done coloring your picture so I was like huh that's pretty cool and I tried it and hey it's very nice very nice looking you can also see like the shortcuts that they use on their programs and um, even though they might use like a different program thing sometimes you could translate it over to the program that you use. and it, oh my god it makes it way easier I know like that's how it clipping I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I'm I'm old school, so I'm not really good with these uh, art terms. But um, clipping, where you could just uh, where you draw the line uh, line art, and then you clip it, and then you could draw over it, and it wouldn't. It's not gonna draw anywhere else except the part where you want it to draw. So um, so I it's super helpful to be able to do that. Really saves in coloring. I. To this day, will not know what clipping is. <laughs> I, clipping, like, and like when I see other people do it, I'm like, oh, okay. And then I try it, and I'm like, oh, I. Nothing has happened. I don't know. Yeah. Kingly, like, I don't know. Clipping. What, clipping. Yeah, like when you clip your art. Yeah. Or your art mask or something. I think. Yeah, something like that. Where you like draw yeah. on the layer and clip it, and then you color like when you draw over it, it only the part where you drew on. You know what? When as you said it, it cut out the whole how to. <laughs> Yo, Discord acting up today. <laughs> I think Discord. Okay. Doesn't, I don't think Discord <laughs> wants me to know how to do it. Uh, I don't. I don't think Discord likes waking up. Discord podcasts. doesn't want us to know the secrets. You did it again. <laughs> no secrets. Right. No, you shall never know the secrets. Uh, rib. I'll let Kingly explain it then. Kingly doesn't know. Um. Uh, well, I I did do some clipping before. Uh, how to actually do it and say like clip? That's where I'm clueless. But you do you know the principle of it? It's pretty much just isolating. Only what you want to color. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it yeah. is. That That's all you're doing. Is isolating what you want to color. I don't get it. Okay, it's like so... Where you, can't, where you can't color out of the lines. Like in a coloring book. Yeah. So, like, say that you draw a circle. And then you clip it. And then when you try to color again... You draw on a layer. You add a layer on top. You color on the new layer, and with clipping, it will keep colors within the layer and below. Exactly. Fine. So it doesn't color outside of whatever you drew. Understandable. It really I'll, makes coloring I'll, I'll, easier. I'll try it when I get home. I, I'll, I'll try it when, I'm, yeah. when I get home Better. and I'm not in the studio. Like I, I believe in you. Yeah, you. You all don't know this, but we all actually go together onto of course the actual studio and we talk oh yeah oh yeah yep there's like sure thing there's like this whole building in ohio oh, of course it's it's like between ohio yeah and other states that we're from 
such as California. I fly from Texas to Ohio every week. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I see that. I, I mean, every week. That's a lot of people that come from Texas to Ohio a lot. You know, that's kind of funny, though. And sometimes it's an eight-hour drive. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's like a, that's like a whole day in school. Was it? That's, yeah. like a whole, that's like a whole day shift. <laughs> who who do you who do you look up to, Tokoy? Like who'd you watch as a kid growing up? Who taught you how to draw? Look up to is a strong word. Because you're small. Ooh. Them fighting words. Them fighting <laughs> words. To be honest, I looked up to cartoons and most law. No artist, no how-to artist. Not even Mark Crawley. I didn't watch any what? specific to Brit or how the artist. <laughs> I watched Mark Crawley a bit later in life. But that's even funny. a bot can pronounce it better than you. <laughs> Though I guess you can say he counts. Uh, we'll call you D. We'll just say. I also like Lavender Town. Oh, Lavender Town. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I don't know. Where her. I kind of got the tip on social media from. Lavender? Oh, like from Pokemon? Lavender Lavender Town? It might be. She could be referencing that. Of course. Nah, that's cringe. You know, it says the person playing Minecraft right now. Which I am talking about the YouTuber. Oh, okay. The YouTuber? Yeah. Well... Talking, to, what's her name? Jet, you should come down and mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, to be honest, like the person who runs Lavender Town, I think it would seriously simp for her. Let's put him on the podcast. <laughs> Starts watching all her videos. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we put them on the podcast. We make them feel so uncomfortable. You mean you would make her? They ban. They, 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 they try to get the whole episodes taken down. You definitely uh, would. Uh, All right. So I, I, I would be. I would be the one person to be like, I apologize on his behalf. No. <laughs> All right. So here's our here's our fantasy picks for whenever we're somehow famous. Here's our fantasy picks. Mark Crumley, Lavender Town. <laughs> and that's about it so far. Emirchu. Oh, Emirchu. Oh, she's she's legendary. Well, we'll get Emirchu too. There, you have, we have our fantasy picks for the day. <laughs> nice. You know what? We take we Togo and then Togo use your robot powers and record certain clips of them and then put them, and then when we and then and in the second half we can pretend we're actually doing interviewing them but it's just random clips. Oh no! Record. <laughs> That's genius. It's like what well, the inspirations and then it's like uh I don't know. Your mom. <laughs> I were geniuses. For sure. For sure. I'm sorry. Were we trying? Were we gonna say Kingly? I I don't know. I just kind of lost my thought. Just I, I was All just right. thinking like like I was trying to hear it right. Were you saying like like have pre recordings of like the people we try to interview? <laughs> yeah. And we pretend they're on the show. I, I was just thinking. I I was just thinking like somebody like end up screwing it up and then you hear Mark Trilly's intro. Hello, welcome. To <laughs> how to draw? <laughs> it could be the intro to the podcast. Yeah, we're like Mark Trilly. Come on, I'm Mark Trilly. We know who you are. Oh, we just <laughs> asked Mark to intro our podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. He. <laughs> we'll do that in like season five if we're ever if we're ever famous 
and we managed to get to a season uh, five. Oh, speaking of which, genius. Speaking of which, I I don't want to brag, but oh. I got a top fan badge for my really fan page thing. That's, wow. that's, that's, that's great. You should, you. you should show it to him when he's on the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he'll, say, he'll say, bye, Brody's ghost. You, you know you know what's funny? Like, he's actually pretty chill, and you could probably actually contact him right on the Facebook page he's on. No. As long as you're not being uh, naggy about it. I'll do... We'll do... We'll let, we'll let the fans decide. Maybe we do it for, like, season two. Or, or three. <laughs> and start spamming the heck out of him. We're like, where the fuck are you, dude? Get on the podcast! Do you know about the podcast? Do the interview with them. Uh, well, first of all, if we're going to get somebody that high, high profile, then we definitely need to actually have, like, a proper hour ahead of time. Yeah, you're right. Nah, fuck that dude. He's gotta, <laughs> he's gotta work around our hours. For sure. <laughs> oh shit, no, he's listening to us right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh crap. Gum soul and be on Minecraft. Amen to that. <laughs> Listen, the Minecraft thing was an accident. It really Cheer. wasn't. <laughs> of course. Alright, alright, on to me. Who did I watch growing up? <laughs> Honestly? When I first was trying to get into art, like, I was very fucking bad at it. Like, I could show you the notebook of my first, very first drawing, my very first almost serious drawing, but nah. And then, and then right after, like, you know, art artists were like, hey, you smell. Because, you know, if you smell, an artist won't want to talk to you. So... Obviously, I started putting on deodorant, and then I started watching videos, and these videos didn't really help me. In fact, they made me question why. And they were kind of stuck in my brain for a while, but then I kind of had to move on. And that's where I learned some of my shit from the Koreans. But the first person I sort of watched, and kind of got into it with was um drawing with jaza i don't know if oh yeah jaza drawing with jaza jaza a oh boy i'll just let you know jaza and mark really did a like a, a collab, collab. Ooh, yuck yeah <laughs> i don't know jaza he was the first one that popped up i guess he was like, this is how you draw a human skull. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. He's like, here, you can download the files for this human skull. And I'm like, okay, what do I do with it? Draw around it or something? Yeah. He's like, this is a human skull. I'm like, I know, Jaza. I felt like I was watching a crime scene or something. No way. And then Jaza's like, okay, and now we get on to women. I never wanted to draw women growing up because I thought it was like kind of bad. But, but now that I'm older, I understand that women are kind of good. And then and then I'm like, okay, okay, Jaza, what the fuck is this? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's like... Yeah, if I remember, right? He grew up in, like, something pretty sure christian And then... I, don't know, I did learn that women do have big hips because they have to give birth to a baby, so they have a big-ass vagina. Womb. Womb. They have a big womb. <laughs> you, that almost looked... Yeah, I almost said vagina on the podcast. Uh, oh no! Yeah, that would have been terrible. But though, but I did not watch a lot of. Good them. save. I think the last video I watched was like. <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. I think his last video I watched was. Can this art tablet help you draw? Can this. Wacom help you become an artist? And I'm like, no. Nah, you know what? I'm done with you, dude. I don't need you. I've outgrown you. <laughs> yeah. I, I I think that's who was trying to push his channel to be for the everyday person now. For people getting into art these days. 
So then I moved on to someone else. You all probably know him. His name? Oh. Ethan. Oh, no, not Ethan. Peter Gray. He was going to say Peter Griffin. <laughs> no. You know Peter Gray, right? Louis. Peter Gray. No, Peter Gray. You know Sounds who familiar. He, you know, yeah, you, you know who he is, right? He's a he's a YouTuber, I think. I have all his books. You're really selling it. <laughs> I have all his books. I don't oh, think no. he's on YouTube anymore. Uh, uh, oh, right. here, here's one of his arts. See, Peter Gray. <laughs> Oh, wait. You were giving me slap about those weird how-to books? <laughs> this is Peter Can you Gray. show me this? Look, he's drawing manga. No. No. Oh. How to draw manga. Oh, no. no. That's Peter Dude, Gray. That ain't a watercolor picture of manga. That is just somebody wiping his butt. Uh, Listeners, I'm showing them Peter Gray, uh, how to, the complete book of drawing manga. It really <laughs> works, and it can be yours for twenty four bucks. Maybe in the nineties. Well, twenty, twenty, three dollars if it's paperback. But man, oh, Peter Gray, the manga they artist. They would have saved a lot of people a lot of issue. If they would have just done basic art. <laughs> what do you mean? Her Peter book. Gray is such a good artist. He has a lot of ma how to draw manga books. I bet. Dude, manga books are so biased. Like, yeah. What kind of style are they looking for, anyways? Mm hmm. That's so dumb. That's dumb! They, they, they just pretty much look. Hey, I can make money off of that. Come on, guys. Peter Gray is a good artist. He, he's on. He 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 te he he can teach everyone how to draw. In manga, he probably, he's probably he's, he's in your probably an alright artist. He's in he's in everybody. He's in your local library. I swear to God, if you have if you are in school. Go to your library and look for Peter Gray how to draw manga. And I guarantee you, you will learn how to draw manga better than you ever will in your entire godforsaken life. And you will say, oh, geez, oh my goodness. I know how to draw. Hey. We yep. do not condone hey. this message. <laughs> yeah, Jim, did you just show me the picture of... Him drawing an uh, anime, but he ended up making Snow White from Disney with red hair and pigtails. Everybody, I want you all to stand up. We're going to commence our... <laughs> now it's time to stand up. We're oh, going no. to start our annual break. Everybody stand up. Time to break it down. Get all the jingles out. I got to stand... We'll be right back. We'll be right back after we do that. Let's go. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Yeah, we're back from the break. Don't wanna... and we're and we're not alone. We're not alone. Can I get another? Can I get another hoorah? Ho 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 ho! Because we're not alone. Yeah. Oh, come on, stop. It's, it's, it's just the art house podcast. Come on. Hoopla! It's, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so we are not alone today, as you all know. Almost every time, every 
godforsaken episode. We get canceled. We make fun of somebody. We die. We cry. We laugh. And at the end of around every episode, we get an artist of the week. So I want another round of applause for someone who wound it up here, but is not lost. It's lost. <laughs> wow, what a, what a brilliant introduction. You should really make those trading cards. Yeah, yes. it was a wonderful introduction. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm totally feeling it. Oh, man, rem- reminds me going to stages and listening to like Carly all the time. Well, we found the people that used to go with Jan Shine tonight. Dan touches feet, and we said, "Hey, can you work with us?" And they said, "Yes." And that's what happened. Hmm. And all they mm-hmm. have to do is. Hey. I missed that in the email that was sent this morning. Was that in the last? I... They're right in Paris. You guys had emails? Yes, no. we have business emails. Yes. Uh, yes, if only what? I had a business email, but I don't. For I do not care for emails. Well, that's why we what? picked you off the street. Wait, what uh, the hell is an oh. email? Don't you dare, I'm, Kingly. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's Gmail and email. Who uses emails anymore besides uh, serial killers and psychopaths? E- What's unrelatable? You? I use Yahoo. Gmail. Yahoo Mail. Oh yeah, you're Joe. totally a serial killer. Give it like a decade or two, if you're still not if you're still not by that point. Yahoo is the norm is the best email service in the world because it's so. Enormous. I disagree. Me, that's debatable. Don't don't talk to me unless you got a dial-up connection to AOL. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> now you're talking. All right. Actually, I prefer my. Uh, messages by letter instead of this Gmail. Honestly, pigeon is the way. Pigeon mail yes. is the way. Pigeon yes, possible, exactly. Form. I use, I use, I use, I use. Silly doggy. What do you call Did it? Did you guys code? ever put like a like a letter in like a bottle and just drop it in the sea? You know, um. Oh, I wish I, I wish I knew this person. I remember seeing. I just sent smoke signals. Uh, printing <laughs> QR codes, and the QR codes linked to Rick Rolls, So whoever got them is Rick Rolled. If they had a phone still alive, then. That's freaking amazing. I wish, I wish I could have said that was my own idea, but I would be lying. I I, I sent out a bottle message one time. Then I got a five hundred dollar fine for li- littering. Damn. Oh. Interesting. I'm messing. I'm messing with that. That's that's, that's not funny. That's messed up. (laughs) Go and take it to the heart. Okay. Welcome to (laughs) the podcast Lost. Have you heard of Art House Rocks the World before? Yes, I have. I watched all of your episodes. That's that's we're famous. We did it. Now, Are you proud of no, me, Mom? No, don't don't <laughs> give me a quiz because I'm tired and also like I haven't really been paying attention that much to the podcast, but I really do enjoy them. We'll take uh, it. I like I like listening to them in the background while I draw or do commissions or work on a comic that I've been working on forever and so on and so on. But never animation because animation <laughs> is hard. And I'm not. Who's your that favorite character? A uh, character from what? the podcast oh, <laughs> that, wow. oh yeah um well me obviously in this one but if i were to say who's my favorite uh the rest of you would kill them so i'm not gonna say that oh Anarchy. it's okay we Anarchy. have a contract where we can't really kill anyone until season eight. Oh, cool kingly kingly is one of my Kingley, favorite you son uh, of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> I warned you, Giggly. You better, you better, uh, st- better start del- deleting all those address links that you've been giving out. You leak. <laughs> Damn. You it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I accept my fate. <laughs> it's all because of that Ohio episode, isn't it? Nothing good happens yes. in Ohio. I kid you not. People were literally asking me after they watched that. 
What? <laughs> I mean, I was one of them. I, I mean, I was in one of them in the background that was running for you, but like you didn't see me. I saw you though. And man, did you look gorgeous running? Out of here, that got really awkward. Oh my! <laughs> You're all banned. Jesus, it just got really hot in well, here. Well, there goes the podcast. See you guys. I enjoyed have, no, no, uh, no, no, enjoy no. having my time. Wait, on the wait. Spotlight. Well, no. Wait. wait, this is just an introduction. Oh, yeah. We need to finish. Yeah, but 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 Gun banned me. Well, it's okay. We can take over. <laughs> wow, wow, really perfect timing, Gum. How's Togo? To- Jet. <laughs> oh, Jet just. I just thought like I just I just thought the uh, Gum did it. No, Togo was no, our no. stage That's... hand as well. Yeah, uh, Togo. My master okay. is in bad timing. Uh, nah, it's fine. Actually, I think it makes it <laughs> funnier. Well, yep. Well, now we know who the most. The least popular person on the podcast is. Let's let's get let's get into oh, the oh, let's, oh, let's, let's get into the meat of today's Ooh. topic. Lost. Now, are you more common on Instagram, Twitter, or? Uh, I am more common on Instagram. I can see. Now, this may this may be a shock to you, but now we're gonna put your. This doesn't work. Um, there we're gonna put oh. your name. On the cover of your interview now. <gasps> no, wait, wait. This is an interview. Oh God, I'm not prepared. Uh, what job application is this for? Uh, management, your mom's house. business calls. Oh. <clears throat> mm. I'm just kidding. Let me um, see. Ego booster. Ooh, I had a, I had a. Little... Yes, I could be an, I could be an ego booster. I can be your yes man. Yeah. Who always, who always says yes all the time. Hey, that's my job. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's my job, but, like, yes, you can have it if you'd like. Damn. Fight, 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 fight. Shake in my head. I'll shake it for <laughs> you. Yes, yes, you should shake your head. I feel ashamed. I should probably just leave. All right. Oh, bye. Shake my no, head. I'm just kidding. I'm way too lazy. No, sir. Yeah, you're you. stuck here with us now. Oh, no. We locked the door. No, what... What got you into no escape. art? So, cartoons. Honestly, cartoons and just in general like, friends and also um, uh, my family is military so I've moved from place to place so I've always had a sketchbook as probably one of my closest friends although I kind of abandoned it now because I've got a digital tablet and it's so recommended. Oh shoot! Um, Did that lead you to wanting to make comics as well, or was that a separate thing? So, so originally, I wanted to create a video game called Tolls of Magic. I thought it would be a really cool platformer where you could take items and give it up for power. Uh, so basically, you want to be a hoarder and wait for boss fights, and then drop all the stuff and just beat the crap out of it. Unfortunately. My programming class went horrible because COVID. Uh, so I didn't learn that much. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm just going to make it easier on me and do a comic. And so that's what started me to become a comic artist by being a uh, procrastinator in coding. I can kind of relate. That's sort of what happened to mm-hmm. me. I highly, I do understand. I understand hard. <laughs> now, what? I mean, you... rich... Go ahead. No, you go first, Kingly. You're the favorite in the podcast, I guess. Wait. Ah? Huh? Oh. Wait, it was Lost that was talking, not Kingly. Hold no, up. No, Kingly was talking. He was going to ask a question. We all still hurt. Perate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I was going to ask, like, uh, what uh, code word are they trying to teach you? Uh, C sharp, aka the code for Unity. The probably ah, one of the C most sharp. common, probably one of the most common game engines to be used for any type of indie game. Yeah, yeah, I learned a little bit of that myself. It's it's kind of interesting. 
So then, the then was, you realize there's so much stuff behind it. Yeah, but the problem was we were going to learn old, old code, and I don't know if you know this, but you shouldn't, because with the new program, you can't go back to the like old versions, plus not to mention some of the features that you launch probably might not exist during that time. So we mm -hmm. were using Visual Studios, another highly recommended platform for beginners, uh, and we were learning C Sharp. The problem was, the version was 2018. The book that we were handed to code and basically just copy and paste the work on was a 2015 edition. So that means sometimes the code didn't work. And when we asked the teacher, he was just like, I don't know. So that's why I kind of gave up on coding because I couldn't find a teacher who taught me well. And Lord, no, I'm not paying an individual coder to teach me the ways of coding. <laughs> so it was the school's that's fault. Um, no. No, you don't have to be honest. I It, it is the school's fault. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. COVID, he, he's more... He'd rather, like, us, like, actually show the code instead of him, like, screen sharing it. Um, that's, that's kind of the way he used to do it, but because of COVID, everyone was just kind of stressed. And, like, he didn't know what to do, because, like, uh, the... Like, he originally wanted to do 2015, because that always taught us the basics. Like, you can adapt from 2019, uh, from 2015 to any sort of C-sharp code uh, in his class. The problem was, like, he'd like to actually, like, individually teach us, like, one by one, like, hey, your code's this, or hey, you're missing this line, or you should do this. Uh, but because of online, and everyone was so quiet, like, no one came up to him and asked, um... Hey, how does this code work? Uh, were those so, like the way that the way that he taught was just a different uh, was just different and just not effective when it came to virtual learning. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Now were those Gun, Zoom classes? Did you just get a jawbreaker? Now were those Zoom classes like cringy though? Don't choke on that, bro. Gun why? Actually, no, not really. Actually, I don't know. What it was kind of relaxing, um, mainly because like I hated like raising my hand and like asking a question because I worry that like everyone's gonna judge me. Like <laughs> this guy just knew this code or blah 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 blah. Oh my god, he's such an idiot. <laughs> I see. So it just it, it just kind of made me self doubt like the way I should question and then like I just be like privately message him and like hey uh, how does this work dot 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 would you mind explaining that to me understandable no so we were what was I getting oh yeah did you have any inspirations as Actually, to art. for art? Or just in general, I guess. What got you to so, this point? Who inspired you? So, was it your mom? So was it your dad? Richard, Let him Richard, answer, bro. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I mean, I can let you list the whole alphabet of okay, artists, fine, and fine, I ain't going to tell fine, you anything. Fine, fine. Um, anywho, uh, originally, you guys might know him, but Vex... Um, is one of my huge inspirations for drawing originally. Now, I don't follow him anymore, but he encouraged me uh, to draw just because, like, he just recommended, like, hey, just draw little doodles here and there. And, like, I did it, and I enjoyed it. And then uh, another rel uh, relative of mine, uh, he gave, like, really harsh feedback. And he really did enjoy the artwork that I did, but he did recommend, like, hey, you should probably push yourself to actually, like, you know, do personal, like, people drawings, because, like, this ain't going to cut it in, like, the actual art community. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So I felt a little down. And then I picked up uh, the most nerdiest game you all could ever imagine, uh, aka this is probably my King Liz, one of my favorites. 
I D and D because I used because I drew characters left and right, left and right, and that inspired me to draw fictional characters, aka where my comic uh, inspiration came from. Ah uh, yeah, D and D squad <laughs> nerds. Yeah, Get I mean, are we all? I mean, aren't we all nerds? Because, like, we're all artists. And, yeah, we're artists. No, and, like, we're I cool. Know, like, uh, that's debatable. Yeah, we're cool. I think there's different <laughs> levels. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, is this going to turn into, then. like, an art high school? Are we going to have art <laughs> jobs? Please, please <gasps> no. I, I never want to hear that. T- Anime is not a cartoon. T- you, you think that's it's funny? anime. Yeah, that's anime. No one likes anime. Yeah. Yes. Are you gonna say that anime is a cartoon? I mean, says you, gum, the person who's like reviewed like a thousand mangas already. Listen, we don't talk about that. Oh no, we're, we're talking about, about it. Busted. You're you're Those. pointing fingers at who the nerdiest king is. I'm gonna point fingers at you. No. Damn. That's cheating. I mean, I don't even have fingers to begin with. That's it. You're grounded. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> what are you gonna do over there, behind the screen over there? No. Slash this is an actual screen. studio. <laughs> I'm gonna throw uh, this apple at you. Ow. <laughs> hey, hey! Like, ow. Watch where you're aiming. You almost got me in the Sorry. Eye. Now, Jesus Christ. I actually <laughs> went to a to um a conference, not a com- a panel about world building, and they talk mm-hmm. a lot about D and D, and that's when I realized I was in a D and D panel because <laughs> they were discussing uh. world, world building, and I'm like, oh no, they mentioned a bard. This is D and D. Ah yes, you know the bards, the most infamous class that wants to screw everything, and that's what they said, and everyone. <laughs> And then you, you know the isekais you. are all based off of uh, Japanese people playing D and D. You know, what if everything mm-hmm. D&D just happens? just let everyone know? <laughs> well, damn, they yeah. got to let off steam somehow. <sighs> yeah. Now we were mentioning we were talking about car- you were talk we were talking about cartoons earlier. Do, do you have anything? do you like like any favorite comic manga anime cartoon or or even a little book anything so if we're talking if we're talking about cartoons i would imagine you'd want to know my favorite cartoon right any anything or, you love anything you would dot right and die so for. i love i love like a good comedic um cartoon like i loved very odd parents or SpongeBob, uh, yeah, that's like the good, the classic ones, not like this new rendition. <clears throat> Teen Titans Go. <clears throat> I do not like that one. One hey. bit. Hey, you um, leave Word Girl alone. Huh? <laughs> I said you leave Word Girl alone. Yeah. Um. King, uh, you belong in the but. Talk zone. W- but if I were to say some of my favorite comics, I would definitely say one Demon Slayer. Good story, and it paces it yes. very well. Um, yes. Another one I do love, and I know not everyone likes a good mystery slash horror, uh, but this is actually a really good one, and I highly recommend this to everyone. It's on Webtoons, and it's called Everything is Fine. And it's so good. I'm addicted to it at this point. Is nothing fine? Oh, but I uh, to well, list. you'll well, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. You know what? You guys don't even need to read it because everything's fine. You know what? That makes me think nothing's fine now. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Wow, this is very misleading. <laughs> it's a horror, no. but. No no, 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 what did I mean for? I meant everything's fine. It's a nice, calm, loving relationship of two people 
and everything's fine. You don't need to worry about it. Everything's fine. This reminds me of Happy Tree Friends. Like, how they're all cute and nice, and then when you actually watch it, it, oh, man. Okay, it's more messed up than that. Especially with the first episode. Oh, man. Well, I am adding it to the list. Good. Um, Favorite anime? Demon Slayer again. Uh, Nice. And there's two that I love, but they're at a tie. It's The Disastrous Life of Psyche. Ah, yes, yes. Kokomi Can't Communicate. Of course. Yo, I love it. I love it. Because it does not take itself seriously, and I love it. (laughs) No. I don't... I don't... I forgot to mention one... I don't know. No. I don't know if you saw yesterday's episode, but we were talking about comedy. Um, mm-hmm. I did mention two fucking. I I mentioned my favorite comedy manga or anime, I guess. Uh huh. And it was it was Sayonara, Despair Sensei. Goodbye, Sa- huh. Despair. Now I won't get into the detail, but basically. The most negative man meets the most positive person. Oh no! Like, oh, this is gonna be. They great. literally, she literally meets him by seeing him hang himself. Oh! And, and she's like, and, and she, he's like, why the, why the hell did you save me? What the heck? It's like, <laughs> didn't you see I was trying to die? And she's like, oh, I thought you were trying to make yourself taller. For, for anyone that's not aware okay. of like the art style, it is a, a tad bit whimsical, so don't think it's like... It's the best. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, but... Huh. And then so you... I remember you were talking about hmm. world building. Have you ever done that for the podcast then? Silly, 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 silly lost world building. Uh, you're, are you asking us a question? I'm asking you. How dare you? you What you've done. Um. You guys, I think the studio glitched. I don't hear you anymore. Hello? Hello? Don't tell me that. Should we, uh. It was too much. Should we pause and take a. Uh. I'm, no, I'm assuming you guys are so do... popular now. You guys have a sponsorship, right? Should we take a quick pause and announce our sponsorship? No, today? you're banned. <laughs> you're ruining the studio. I have to kill you. The question was too much. <laughs> <laughs> the, the question was, but you know what isn't? Um, no. Wait, shoot. I was going to ask, like, have you guys ever promoted the Discord originally? We keep that under wraps. Ooh. That's a VIP kind of thing. Uh, okay. It's a secret. Ne- Never mind. I guess we're not that ready yet. You're That's def- a CIA file, def- man. We're, you're... Uh, Fuck. Yes. Were Never we did- mind. Were we talking about that? The JFK. Who was the JFK file? Why am I thinking of JFK files? You named PNG or. See, they kind of in there, though. SCP? Yes. No. Maybe. <laughs> um. What was I going to say? Now, so, by asking you guys a question, that broke the whole system. No. No more questions. We ask the questions here. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn. Is there so anything... what, this is what, like a good cop, bad cop thing? Yes. Now, is there any... Uh, is there any... You're dealing with a bad cop? Is there any uh, type of media you hate? Like, you know, same thing. Shows. Okay. Shows, media. literature... That's what I mean. Okay. To be honest, I like all variations. They have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, comics, you can definitely do a lot more pushing uh, and a lot more structural line work. But what? Do you uh, and the stories, the stories, great. All stories are great. Some, well, most of them are. Um, 
uh, animes like can definitely show a lot more. However, they can't like you know like if they're like a like independent studios, like one person can't like re like if they really want to, they can really push out all those line works. But they want to go for a simplistic look sometimes, just to make it easier on themselves, and I can understand that. Uh, and then writing, you can push the literature or the way people describe things and sort of visualizing it. Uh, I know. Though, if I were to say, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, yeah. Yeah. one of my least favorites yeah. is, I don't know, like, like, just in general, like, stories that don't have a story in general. Like, if it's a spinoff where it's, like, like, um... For example, like where like nothing ever happens. Like for example, like my least favorite show is Teen Titans Go because there is no story plot. It's episode after episode after episode. Now you might think like, well, doesn't the Dumbbell do that? Well, you'd be wrong. They do it sometimes, but they also change the story sometimes, and that makes it interesting because more characters equal more comedy. I, it just makes it interesting versus Teen Titans Go um, just like it's like comedy after comedy and even then it's kind of just kind of cheesy comedy like oh we have to build the perfect sandwich or oh no Santa's evil what do we do for the fifth time and it's annoying like like if you if you, if you get what I'm saying so you love everything you can't hate everything I mean, I do hate things that just, in general, that are just bad, like sto- like story-wise. Like, if the story's good, I'm hooked. But is there anything <laughs> that makes you disgusted? Um. Hmm. Here, I actually. I don't know. Here, I I I got my assistant to give me a list of anime titles. I want you to tell me oh. whether you hate them or not. Okay. I want you to make a disgusted face and show me your underwear. Would do you like that, or would you hate it? Oh, that sounds oh. bad. Okay, I heard of that. Okay, I'll bring in another. No, I understand you never want to judge a book by its cover, but if a book, but if a cover it, it is sounds ex- like that, it just—it's exactly it's, what it sounds like. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to look at that. Okay, I'll bring in another one. If you don't successfully pick up 420 Girls, I am going to die in a lot of different ways. That is another title. Terrible. Okay. Sounds terrible. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. We're getting... Butt Attack Punisher Girl, go to man. What? <laughs> okay, Gum, are you just making up stories? These are or all these real. Actual... I these mind actual... these strawberry no. eggs. Do you like that? What? Why then? Gum, strawberry Gum. I'm just reading from his personal list of no, these, mangas he likes. These, no, these are all mangas I've animals. been reading. I, my, me, Strawberry Eggs is a cross-dressing teacher trying to get back at the all-girls school or something. Okay, I'll name another one. Um, no. I'll name a very... I'll, okay, Um, do you like... <laughs> my girlfriend is a show bitch. Yeah, no, I'm not reading that. I want to eat your pancreas. Oh. Okay. Ah. Okay, these people, whoever they're writing to, are definitely writing Yo. to some people that he just need know. A, that need attention. He doesn't like, know. These I I don't know. Damn, the last I'm one a, he read. Oh. Um. But I'm 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 going to be real like like it's all about hook it's like what hooks someone in and it's the title mostly because people will tend to judge books by their cover let's be real like people say like now there are some people that don't and will definitely read it like i know a few friends um that will like watch the first three episodes of something and if they like it they'll continue if they don't they stop but like there's just some things where you don't even want to pick up um uh, what, what was this? I can give um, you another example. Uh, please, no. I'd rather not. I don't want to go to <laughs> bed and have that image in my mind. My mental choices are completely interfering with my school romantic comedy. 
Yet no. <laughs> oh, that one. Okay, we'll move. We'll move on. I will name a couple though. A boring world where the concept of dirty jokes don't exist. That's my favorite. Uh, I couldn't become a hero, so I reluctantly decided to get a job. Listen to me, girls. <laughs> I am your father. Pretty sus title. Um. <laughs> yeah. And and you thought there was a never girl a line, man girl, the legend of legendary heroes. You know, to be honest, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> One catched my <laughs> ear, and that was uh, I cannot be a hero, so I'll work at like what fast food or something like that. that that's something that sounded interesting. Because you like D and D, it all comes together. Okay. No, it is not D and D. Lost. Okay, <laughs> so we're on. We all. So lost. Does agree there are some elements to hate and some elements to like. He he mm-hmm. he picks at his food. Now, on on the subject of media like that, I guess. Do you have a comic? Are you working on one? In a way. Yes. Like I've already said, I'm working on a comic called Tolls of Magic, and I really do like it. It is fantasy based, and it is really interesting and I want to say what's happening but like I'm still in the development so probably maybe the summer it should come out maybe late spring this spring or next spring this spring this, this spring. spring or next spring oh we're, Ooh. Getting, we're getting two stories in spring you guys like that snap coming spring 2020 2020 2022 damn the keyword I said late spring Late spring. Uh, you know what? You're fired. Um, I'm fired. Everyone's <laughs> fired. Um, what can you tell us a little bit, like in five words, if you can, or and wh- however you can. can five you just, words will not do it. I know. I know. But can I can warm up in a few. In a few can seconds. you just? Can you at least describe it? I mean. So, this is gonna sound weird and it is gonna sound dark at first, but I'm gonna give a heads up. Do not take the word that I'm gonna say too literally. So. There's magic, yes, it it is fantasy, so you've got to expect some magic. However, every single comic has a twist, and what is my twist? My twist is you have to sacrifice something. Now, what does that mean? Like, it's not like, oh, you now are cults. No, you have to give up something of your value, whether that's like an item of yours, um, memories of others, or just in general, like, what you want to give up for power in this world. Um, The... The higher it is in your sentimental value, the stronger it is. However, people can form addictions because, like, oh, they want power, so they get rid of everything until they realize they've got nothing anymore. Um, So we got a hero who's named Kate, and her quest is to figure out what happened to her in the past as people accuse her of murdering the king's daughter. And Kate will meet uh, strange and familiar faces along the way. That's all I can say. Understood. Is there alchemy involved in your story? Yeah. <gasps> nice. Yes, absolutely. So nice. the villains, the villains, aka the brewers, uh, want to try to make magic old and make alchemy the new thing, as alchemy only requires you to actually just pop in a few items. So whether that be some herbs or some sap from a tree or just in general, like some simplistic stuff, you can make potions, and that means people don't have to give up stuff to make magic. Actually, uh, their first targets were the healers in the story, because healers in my world had to give up most, uh, because in order for someone to heal someone, they'd also have to take half the pain. So, like, why would anyone want to take half the pain of a broken leg? You're going to be sore for like a whole month or two. That's no fun. So Al- Alchemy just discarded healers as they could just heal anyone up with just a few simple ingredients. However, they do not want to give away that recipe. Okay. Interesting way of putting, uh, what's it called, of using alchemy. Mm-hmm. Scary. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
So now, where are you gonna, we scale it and... Where will you be uploading it? Webtoons, Tapaz? Webtoons, absolutely. Oh. Uh-huh. I just think Webtoons, maybe Instagram as well. Okay. Now, I think Instagram probably might not work, but no. I will hopefully see if I can work. Now, I'm going to tell you this, and, and hopefully everyone listening pays attention. Um, Are you going to be doing the scrolling style or, like, the normal comic style? Um... That's a good question. I feel like for webtoons, I would do scrolling, mm-hmm. and uh, Instagram, I would definitely do page after page after page. Yeah. After all, all these comics, they're all kind of be going to be in boxes, unless if it's like, you know, a really important scene. Then of course it's going to be outside of a box. Well, but I, eh, I can I can adjust that into an Instagram post. I'll tell you this. Yeah. I I did meet a man that was once featured, and. You know, he told me all this stuff, you know. So, if you do try to make it big on Webtoons, which if you just post weekly, you obviously will. Um, mm-hmm. And once it blows up, you actually, like, on Canvas, like, you know, the the, the sub-pool of, of comics, um, you don't have to do the scrolling style. Unless you are approached by... You know, people interested in featuring it. That's when they like say, "Hey, can you can you do scrolly style?" So it does not matter. You can do page yeah. on page. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen a few comics do that. Um, uh, one I'm following at the moment. Give me one second to pull it up. I uh, definitely do that. Like they do like a page like once a week or something like that, and it's still pretty effective. Uh, two that I know uh, is the Pirate Checklist, and the other one, where is it? I swear I, I, I had it, I can't. Oh, Ashes in the Wind. Oh, no, wait. Whoops, wrong comic. I do not know where I found the other one in. That's it. But I do know that You're... the Pirate... Hmm. Uh, Pirates uh, checklist definitely does that sometimes, and like I I like that idea, but I also prefer scrolled as like you can kind of create more interesting and dynamic spacing. When it came to my first official comic that I did, now this is uh, like a couple of years ago. I'm talking like 2019 August, I think, or 2020. Actually, no, it was 2020 August. Um. The way I kind of did it was kind of a maze and a labyrinth for the scenes, as it kind of made more sense. However, that would be really hard to post on Instagram because, like, you'd have to like screenshot after screenshot. But if you put it in box form, it just makes it easier for you to like change it onto a different platform. If if that makes sense, like, d- depending on how you stylize your comic is interesting and that what appeals me is like how do you take those panels and make it interesting because like you can just do like box one at the top box two below it but like where's the flow like how do i know that these two are still in the same thing um one thing i like to do is kind of create like the the sky kind of in the background of the panels and intru- kind of introducing like a sunrise to sunset to kind of include like hey uh, this is the beginning and that's the end of the comic, um, or basically kind of continue with the day cycle. Uh, that's an advice that I would give personally, just to give it a little flair. And another thing, like, don't be afraid to step outside of the box lines. Like, if you really want to push a character element or even foreground elements out of the boxes, it makes it look really interesting. It makes it pop out. All right, you win this round, Lost. <laughs> cool. So uh, you can uh, fulfill your bet or deal that no uh, you agreed on a while ago. No. So for those um, who don't know, so Gum was asleep on a VC. No, no, no. And no, me and no, me and a bunch no, of me and a bunch no, of others no, decided no. to draw his Lost, icon. There is no discord. While, there is no while, anything. Stop trying to while, break this game. Stop uh, trying so to while break the studio. Was, while well, they were asleep, the I drew gum Togo, with gum hair and a gum mustache, audience. and I made him look like 50 years old. Togo. Yes. 
No. So, Togo. and I did say no, like, "Gum, say nothing." Not. If you agree know. for this it's to be not. a week, you are lying. And you never, I was not and you there. didn't say anything. Miles so it's like, okay, this is gonna be yours for the week. Family member. That's what was happening. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Oh. Boo. I mean, they could be I booing think they're you booing them. No, there's no yeah, booze. Here, here, guys, I would love for you guys to be the uh, judges on this should be Gums profile. No. Nope. Now, I no, will say no, I do need that's to work just on Mario. it a little bit more. We're, you're all banned from this but podcast. But this is Gum, but 50 years old with no. Gum hair. I don't feel old. Well, See, oh, you hear that no, they, they agreed with they what I said. you to change no, your icon. No, 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 they said. Come they on. Said, no, you're banned. I can. I never change. I'm a fine <laughs> one. Stop asking I'm questions. Bad. You're banned. Oh wait, I put that in the wrong chat. No. Haha. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They agreed to me. They they know I can't grow old. Oh, you know. Nope. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ahead. What's your question? Do you have anything beyond Twirl of Magic? Twerk, uh, Toll of Magic. Twerk of Magic, um, yes. Yeah, actually, actually, yes. Um, another comic I did was for a competition. The competition was just to draw yourself in a Pokemon car trainer and see how it looks. And I was like, wow, I really like this. And I like kind of the, the personality that I gave... Uh, the two characters that I drew, because personally I really didn't like drawing myself. Um, uh, so I thought like, hey, you know what? I'll do a comic, and I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but I did enjoy the process, and I did learn how to do shading, even if it's just black and white. I see. Hell yeah. I see, I see. No, have I posted this? Yes on Instagram, no on Webtoons. Well, you gotta start somewhere. I. You gotta, you gotta do something. Yeah. Yeah. So, how many characters do you have in your story? Um. So that's a good question. Are you talking oh. main characters? Or are you talking side characters included? Uh, main characters? Okay, so I have the main cast, aka the main heroes. There's four main heroes. There are five villains, and there are goons and minions. However, uh, the characters will be introduced slowly over time. Uh, now I do understand, like, hey. That might be bad at first, because, like, why why introduce main characters later? But here's what I'd have to say. Um, each character gets five comics each. Now, these comics are kind of brief and short, um, and I'll post them weekly, hopefully, as long as I have enough time to finish them. Um, and they'll get introduced, so on and so on. However, I like to do... Um, so, for my first goal... I like to finish the first chapter of the story, which will include 30 comics I'm thinking I'm writing. And that's going to be a lot, yes. But I hopefully will build the world uh, layer by layer as the story keeps on, keeps going. And hopefully my art style will improve during that time, but not too much that the style will change in the comic. Damn, so you're really planning this for the long run. So it's going to have like a lot uh, of chapters in the end, right? Absolutely. I'm thinking like the max I can do is five chapters, but each chapter has like different parts of it. Like part mm-hmm. one, part two, part three, so on and so on. It's like maybe I'm thinking like a total of like 150 comics for that. Mm-hmm. Now. Ooh. Uh, now, if it's really popular and people still enjoy it and it's over, I do have a second plot coming in the development at the moment. Nice, nice. So you have a backup just in case. Backup just in case. Now, do I have a back? Now, do I have another comic idea? Oh, absolutely. But it's still in development. But I do have a working title for it. It is called Pillow Fight, and it's inspired. By probably one of my favorite shows. Actually, I forgot to mention it. Kids Next Doors. I 
love that show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice. I know that. That's one. amazing. <laughs> yes, that is a good part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I tr- you know I try to use I try to do what they do in Kids Next Door as well. Well, mm-hmm. not their concept, but more so like taking something, you know, simple or stupid and just making it and just exaggerating it. Like Absolutely. Tr- yeah. um, like instead of a normal school, I made a a school that's actually a concentration camp. That's, oh, there you go. Uh, huh. Instead of instead of throwing knives, I'm using pencils. Huh. Huh. <laughs> so. Hmm. No, don't think about this. Um. I'm not. Do you want to move on to the next question? No. You mentioned you're you're a college kid, right? Well, for no. A, no, you were just studying code. I was studying for code. Yes. So. So where? What are you doing now, art wise? Um. So at the moment, I'm. I'd rather not give that personal that much personal information, but I am currently uh, in digital art two at my school. Um, I have an amazing teacher; he's been teaching me really good good techniques. Um, and at the moment, once again, I'm still working on the comics. I do commissions here and there. Um, commissions can be in a pain in the butt, especially when it comes to people trying to scam you. Yeah, you know, it's fun. Tell me about it, you know. Especially, one thing I like to do to prevent that from happening too much is the payment half, uh, half front at the moment, at at the moment right now. That way, it's like, hey, if I still get dipped, I at least get half of the payment so it avoids, like, like nothing out of, like, hours of work that you do. Uh, heavily watermarking your things is always a good advice. Now, if they say, like, hey, can I have it unremoved? And it's like, sorry, until you pay, then you're going to have to keep the watermark on. And, like, even then, I still keep the watermark just barely off to the side or kind of hide it within the artwork in case that they try to claim it as their own or if they try to sell it off to someone else. Uh, then they can actually know that this was my design and like I actually have physical proof because I have the PSD paint, uh, like the time lapse. I always keep those to myself, um, and so on and so on. Like I like to do that just in case that they try to convey like their artwork as my own. I see. You are very. You do the the most. Mm-hmm. I do a lot. That's more um, than any artist would ever do, I think. Oh no, there's 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 tons of more people that would do so much more security or just in general so many more steps just to make just to prevent that stuff. But like, hey, that's just kind of the way I do it. Heavy watermark and half uh, up front at the moment. Well, I don't have to worry about that because I don't get commissions. Oh, I'm not. A, <laughs> I'm not like you. It's lost. I'm not. Is it really a commission if you don't get money? If you don't get compensated oh. from it, isn't that like a request? So no. So there's a difference between a request and commissions. Commissions are when someone's wanting you to do private work, um, prefer- preferably like not posted, um, and like actually wanting to pay you to draw like a specific scene that they want or a photo or in general what they want um while requests they're like hey whenever you're free would you mind drawing this character it would mean the world now it's not free art now yes it's kind of a free artwork thing to do um and it it is very sketchy because like some people like request like things so what you would want to do if you're ever wanting to do requests is set restrictions on what you feel comfortable with and tell them like hey i'm gonna do this during my free time i'm not gonna say like i'm gonna start working on it now because like you might have projects that you want to work on later it's like whenever you feel like you're ready to do it like that's when i would do um requests actually one thing i like to do uh to promote the comic is actually taking in request characters 
for the background. Now, I'm not saying like they're going to have the text bubble or they're not going to be super detailed, but it just helps fill in crowd space where there should be instead of like having an empty background. Like you don't want a town and it's like empty. Like you want a bunch of people walking in the streets doing some other stuff. Now, is it going to be simplified? Oh, absolutely. But I still feel like people might enjoy that because, like, hey, it's their free character. Is it a comic? And it, in general, it's just kind of a fun atmosphere to kind of keep the hype over. Because, like, people then are going to look for, like, their specific characters in which panel. Now, I'm not going to say where it's going to be. But that's just something that I like to do, like, during free time. Now, I would first r- really recommend absolutely finish all your characters finish the background and then you could take in the amount of uh, people's characters that you want to put in if you feel comfortable one time i remember once again this is going to relate to dmd so uh there's a dm screen and if people don't know that it's just uh like in person uh the dm will hold like kind of like a wall divider to prevent mm-hmm. uh players from knowing like enemy stats or in general, just kind of hide like the story, uh, so that way players don't peek and like look at what's happening next, so they can predict or react to what's going to happen. So I did a uh, DM request, and I was like, "Hey, I need characters to fill in this tavern scene," and a bunch of people submitted their artworks. Some were really nice, some were really complex, so I had to refuse those ones. However, one person kept asking when the dm screen was available or when it's going to be done um and that annoyed me because it's like hey i'm also kind of busy um you know like because uh, i was little so i was still in i'm still in school and blah 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 and like the person just kept asking non-stop and it just kept getting more aggressive so i had to put my foot down and apologize to everyone saying like this one person would not shut up so i'm deciding to cancel it here's the final sketch of it have a good day and that was fun another time where requests can get really weird another person dm'd me uh, and asked if i can draw a horse now i was not skilled enough to draw a horse that was good uh and i said like hey i'm sorry i could try but like once again, I'll do it during my free time. I can do it, like, probably next week. I'm like, next week? But I want it now. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm at, busy at the moment. I was like, come on, can you do it? Like, right now? And it's like, I have class to do. And we just kept bickering. And I was like, fine. If you want me to draw a horse, like, right now, you can pay me as a commission. And they're like, no, I want it for free. And that's when you know requests can also lead to hire hire people wanting to scam you out of free art uh so the best thing you could do is always just say no i'm sorry and if they keep aggressing or pushing forward uh block their number yeah. or block their contact info and just don't speak to them in general yeah that that does make sense and um uh, speaking of art where could we end up finding your art um so I answered that. Yeah. yeah. So that, I'm on Instagram, yeah. aka on as Lost Illustrator. Um I'm about to reach two hundred, so that's a huge milestone. So if you guys really do like my content, I would really appreciate that. Um and definitely co- don't don't uh uh don't uh I can't I can't speak right now, like uh, I don't know. Just I'm really excited, and I hope you guys do enjoy the comic that I'm working on. And I like really do hope that you guys like it instead of like, you know, this is gross. I'm hating it. Don't it's garbage. Right, we'll get, we'll garbage get lost in. in your story. Uh huh. But Gum, I do. I do have to say, you did break my clause because uh, lost is no, my. No, we thing. don't talk about that. Um. Do you see art no, as no, a career? No, 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 it's in my... Do, we, do you see it's, art as a it's career? It's my... Absolutely. Art is a career for people. Now, I will say it's a difficult one at the, at the start. Because at first, you're going to have to compare your artwork, and you're going to have to see what's wrong. Then you're going to have to learn the medium that you want, how you're going to do it, and then 
practice and practice and practice. And this isn't just like the lame toss hand excuse. Oh, just draw every day. Like, no, you want to practice your values. You want to practice your shape. You want to practice your form of drawing. Uh, and that'll increase like your level and so on and so on to actually increase the value of your artwork. Um, that's what I would do. And you could work at like, you know, it, like a, like a place that needs uh, artists at the moment, like any animation studios would so take any art um, animator. Now, 2D artists is a bit hard because once again, it's such a high competition to get that one job. Now, I would recommend always having a backup plan if you want to be an artist. Uh, so, like for example, like I want to go to art school, but I want to have a backup plan. So I'm getting also a uh, business major just in case if a worst comes to worst, I can just take art as a side job versus like a full-time job and the side job would most likely be commissions while you do your office work or whatever type of job that you have mm -hmm. now, oh, okay. we're, we're, we're getting near the end sadly so I'm going to have to ask you the most infamous Aww. question in every podcast do you have any advice for people wanting to be artists those want to be artists if I were to give any it any advice any advice in general set boundaries now i understand like that sounds like a backhanded but i'm serious setting a boundary on like how far you're willing to like make a price or how far you're willing to communicate with people for commissions is great also um if you're wanting to set a deadline on huge projects animation coding in general whatever art form you want I've learned this from everywhere. You want to give yourself the deadline that you want. Let's say you want to finish a comic within a week. Extend that deadline by a week and a half or half of the amount of time it's going to take because that way you have time and you cannot... So that way you can focus on like other stuff versus just art, art, art because you also want to include daily, daily stuff because like the more that you just look at your art and just practice on it, the more you kind of close your mind. But if you were to step outside every now and then and just take in inspiration from a world that helps with your drawing, if that's my advice. I'm not sure if that's good or not, but it's the best I can give at the moment because I'm incredibly tired and I'm a lot of caffeine. It's very <laughs> solid advice, though. Solid yeah. advice. Now, do yeah. you guys have any questions? Before we all I'm, go to sleep, 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 Phil. The more yeah, you say sleep, the uh, more intrusive I get. <laughs> um, you know, they did went into a lot of details for a lot of stuff, so I, I answered a lot of my own questions I was about to ask anyway. Mm -hmm. Same here. Hmm. Oh, Betty, you guys can't have me just for a few more seconds. Damn. Nah, oh, you man. cover your bases, man. I yeah. legit had like two questions and you answered them. <laughs> what were your two questions then? It was it was mainly like what uh, mainly the advice thing that Gum asked. I mean, he asked mm -hmm. it in every um what's it called in every podcast. But I was interested in what like you your point of view since you're more like into the cartoon style and you were also into coding. So I was interested oh, in that point of oh, view. For, if I were to give advice on cartoons, styles, simplicity is key. If you want to animate in cartoon, simplicity is key. And keeping your line work the same brushstroke is the best for animation for cartoons. Um, now, does that mean you have to do just basically a 2D, like Adobe Illustrator thing? No, but make sure you don't go over too detailed because, like, you're going to cry yourself to sleep. Uh, if you do a super detailed animation and, like, after five months you only got, like, three seconds, it's going to suck. So simplicity is key for cartoon animation. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Any questions, Togo? Any questions at all, Togi? Please, I, I want to stay I... on as much as I can. I. Uh. Suspense is real. The suspense is here. <laughs> Please, I'm, I'm so starting to is your low. favorite. Uh... Oh, yeah, that is, that is true, I won't deny it. Yes, he's my favorite. Wanda ever forget. Uh, um, now, at least yeah. you guys didn't ask me who my least favorite is. At least you guys didn't ask me that, so... It's okay, Togo. You're my favorite. It's, uh, I mean, unless it's, you want me to answer that. It's my dog buddy, isn't it? No. Huh? He's part of the podcast. No, no. That's oh. it. You're all banned. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. Except Togo, she can get... stay. All right, I guess we got banned. Wow. I mean, now it's really the end of it. <laughs> damn, <laughs> guess we won't be here next week, guys. Uh, it's been yeah. nice knowing you. Yes, well, yeah. I'll, I mean, replace, hey, I'll replace you if guys. Y'all, if y'all ever need another host or just another guest speaker, I mean, you can always find me somewhere on this earth, on this planet Earth, because, like, I'm lost, so I don't know where I am. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but you can nice. always find me on a screen drawing oh, every yes. single day through mm. inspiration. If you're if you're mm. if you're near the studio, we'll let you in. <laughs> no, no, can I please? Um, no, can I please leave? read my contract that you gave me because like i'm still that's the end of today's office. episode everyone everyone have a good <laughs> yeah. night good night Togo. Oh, good please, night king please, good night Lost. good night jet wait uh, wait you never know, answered my question our house was you filmed in front of the live studio audience good night you gotta say good night lost that's the rule good night good night you didn't answer my question though good night fine Night, everybody. Gum, I hope you have terrible nightmares. I don't sleep. <laughs> oh, I'll make true. you sleep. Oh, I'll make you. I'll make you go into oh, a no. coma. <laughs>